This week, my community voted on the topic of promise versus premise. And it led me back to a story I haven't cared to think about in some time. Mr. Robot. It's a show which I both enjoyed and have no interest in ever watching again or recommending it to others. Once the narrative was done, I realized the entire story was a giant mess. I think it is disjointed and grandiose as a complete narrative, though there are many elements within it I enjoyed. As for why, well, let's go to the Mr. Robot subreddit and look at the comments from those who were disappointed by the ending. There's a common thread which is important on this topic. First, see this comment, where it comments about the relevance of White Rose's story, how it drove the plot and everything like that, and well, you could take that out and this entire story could be a movie slash one season of TV about Elliot's mental illness. And they just comment about how, yeah, it was a great ride, but for all the build up, it was all for nothing. This comment here says that the whole thing, well, there was an overarching plot, a world of characters, complication schemes, and a web of schemes. But clearly, the biggest message is that Elliot is all that matters and the story is about him and his struggles and everything else doesn't really matter. They felt baited by the hacktivism and then they got a bunch of mental illness stuff. Another person said this as well, that they felt that they got four seasons wasted over trauma and if the intention was to be about his healing, that should have been the focus, not the C-plot. Oh, and here's just one I want to grab because it'll be relevant for what I have to say later on. In this case, I just want to highlight how this person felt like they weaseled out of a sci-fi situation. Now, having showcased all that, I think one of the issues this show has is how it executes on things given the premise, and more importantly, the promise. There was a huge misalignment of expectations, especially as the story went on. So, if you don't wish to end up displeasing people in this manner, or at least understand why someone might get upset, you should understand the concept of premise and promise. Think of your story as a meal you're serving to guests. The premise is like a menu description. It tells them what kind of dish they're going to get. Imagine you're describing a spicy chicken curry or a classic cheeseburger. That's your premise. The basic idea or concept of your story. The promise is what your guests expect based on the description. If you promise a spicy curry, they're looking forward to something flavorful, robotic, and with a kick. If you serve them something bland and under-seasoned instead, they'll be disappointed, no matter how well it's cooked. The promise is about taste and experience, not just the ingredients. Or, to put it in more direct terms, the premise is the basic idea or the setup of the story. It's the what-if concept that sparks everything, the attention grabber. The promise, meanwhile, is the experience you'll give. It's not just what your story is about, but how it's going to make the audience feel. Hence, its relationship with things like genre and tone. For my own experiences with this, an ex-girlfriend once got me to watch a bit of this murder mystery show called Blackpool. I went into it wanting a tightly woven mystery with a clear investigative focus, which said girlfriend sold it to me as. So, you can imagine my disappointment when the investigation took a backseat to things like a character drama, relationships, dark comedy, and a musical. I might try it again eventually, but that dissuaded me from wishing to finish it. It wasn't what I felt sold on. So, having said all that, I have some practical tips to ensure that you deliver the premise and promise effectively. Also have an exercise for you at the end, so if you want to try a little something out, make sure to stick around. 1. Define your genre early. Before you start writing, decide on the genre of your story. This decision will shape how you develop your plot, characters, and tone. Stick to this genre to maintain consistency. 2. Craft a clear logline. Summarize your story in one sentence that captures the premise and promise. This will serve as a guide to keep your writing focused and aligned with reader expectations. 3. Set expectations with your first chapter. Your opening chapter should clearly establish the tone, style, and genre of your story. This is where you make your promise to the reader about what kind of experience they can expect. 4. Consistent theming. Ensure that the themes you introduce in the story align with your genre. For example, a mystery should revolve around solving a puzzle, while a romance should focus on relationship dynamics. 5. Meet genre expectations. Familiarize yourself with common tropes and structures within your chosen genre. For example, a thriller often includes rising tension and a climactic showdown, while a romance typically leads to a satisfying emotional resolution. 6. Avoid genre mixing surprises. If you do want to blend genres, 
make sure the mix is clear from the beginning. For example, if you're combining romance and horror, establish both elements early on so readers aren't blindsided. 7. Keep reader preferences in mind. Remember that readers of different genres have different expectations. A horror reader wants suspense and fear, while a romance reader looks for emotional connection. Respect these preferences throughout your story. 8. Test your premise with readers. Before committing to a full manuscript, pitch your premise and genre to beta readers or writing groups. See if they understand the story you're aiming to tell and if it aligns with the genre you're targeting. 9. Stay true to your story's promise. As you write, continuously check if the scenes, characters, and plot developments align with the promise you made at the beginning. If something feels off genre, reconsider its place in the story. 10. Use cover and marketing to reinforce your promise. Your book cover, title, and marketing materials should all reflect the genre and promise of your story. This consistently helps attract the right audience and set proper expectations. I'm confident that if you follow these simple tips, you can ensure that your story delivers on the promise you made to your readers. To get practicing with this, here's an exercise. Choose three well-known stories, books, movies, TV show, manga, I don't really care, and write down the premise and promise of each. Then, analyze how the promise is delivered through the genre, tone, and structure. Explore how the story might have failed or succeeded in keeping its promise to the audience. This should help you distinguish between the core idea and the emotional or genre-based expectations.